Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain Kendall's uh, W, also known as Kendall Coefficient of Concordance, using R or specifically RStudio. Um, this is actually going to be a video using Kendall's W as an effect size measure for the Friedman test, uh, which it can be according to Tom Sack and Tom Sack in an article they wrote in 2014. Um, to show you that, uh, my packages that are actually loaded by default, Control enter uh, our stats, graphics, uh, graphic devices, utilities, data set, methods, and of course, base. Now I'll be needing some data, so let's load that in, and I'll show you what the data looks like. Uh, these are seven questions that all students were asked about a, a teacher. Note that it only contains the variables I'm interested in for calculating Kendall's W, and that there are no missing values. So if you have a larger data set, uh, you might want to first uh, subset it and store that into a new data file. Going back, um, there's no Kendall W in base, so you need w one of the following packages. It doesn't really matter which one you use, either IRR or Synchrony or Vegan. And I already installed those. Uh, if you haven't uh, pick one and make sure that you install it and then make sure that you load that library um, I will do so for the first one and then if you're using IRR it's simply Kendall and then I have to transpose the data so a T there and then my data and select correct is true and then if I press Control enter then as you can see in the output there is the Kendall's W as 0.16 if you use the synchrony, uh, synchrony package, then of course load that one in. And then again, use the command candle, but now with dot W, and then again transpose the data. And the results will be of course the same. I actually get four digits now, so candles W is actually here corrected for ties. Um, I have plenty of ties, so uh, make sure that you look at that one as 0.1596. And if you're using the vegan package, then uh, use candle.global. Uh, that will actually, and then of course, transpose the data again. And in this case, that will also give hopefully the same result. There is W as 1.59 uh, to the power of um, minus uh, 10 to the power of minus 1, so 0 0.159. Um, as an interpretation, there are a few different uh, variations on that. I have a small list on my uh, website. Uh, it always depends on the field. Zero would mean that there is no agreement among the raters, and uh, one would mean that they fully agree with each other on everything. Okay, and that was it. Hope it was helpful for you.